one of the things my brothers and sisters in Islam that if you did consistently day in and day out it would mean that you have displayed the true essence of tawakkul ala Allah reliance upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he should be relied upon not only that but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you whatever you desire from this dunya and the next it is one of the easiest acts of ibadat that anyone can perform no excuses for any human being subhanallah al-azim and that is the dhikr of Allah remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and despite the fact that it is so easy upon our tongue that particular act of ibadah subhanallah so many Many people unfortunately have neglected it not only that but they don't even believe that there are any reward associated with it it is so easy because all you need to do is to just move your tongue and mention the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you don't need to get up walk to the bathroom perform wudu pray or fast for many many hours it is not only easy to perform this act of ibadah my brothers and sisters in Islam it is also so easy to find the time for it subhanallah while cooking while you're stuck in traffic, while driving, in so many situations we can just move our tongue and mention the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Try it my brothers and sisters, you won't lose anything. Few minutes of your time could change your life. Wallahi, and I'm about to share with you a particular dua where the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa promised the desire of this dunya and the next. Can you imagine? So try it for yourself inshallah ta'ala. Few words of the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can change your entire life. And just like how in Islam there are major sins and minor sins, priorities when it comes to different acts of ibadat and so on and so forth the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught us a lot of adhkar a lot of du'as and remembrance he did not only teach us how to recite those adhkar but also he singled out some special du'as and associated with them great rewards and we just wanted to share with you one of these uh, adhkar inshallah in today's session. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man qala hina yusbih wa hina yumsi. Whosoever said in the morning and in the evening or when he rise from his sleep and before he go to bed. And usually this dua is recited right after Fajr and before Maghrib. What is the dhik? Hasbi Allahu la ilaha illa huwa alayhi tawakkalt وَهُوَ رَبُّ الْعَرْشِ الْعَظِيمِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sufficient for me. حَسْبِ Allah. La ilaha illa hu. There is no God worthy of worship except Him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alayhi tawakkalt. Upon Him I rely and I trust. Wahua rabbul arsh al azim. And He is the Lord of the magnificent throne. Seven times, my brothers and sisters in Islam, if you could say that seven times in the morning and seven times in the evening, what would be the gift? Listen to what your beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. Kafahu Allahu ma Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant the person who recites this with full conviction whatever he desires of the matters in this dunya and the next. Everything my brothers and sisters, everything. That's what the Prophet said. Do you believe, my brothers and sisters, do you believe what your beloved Prophet Muhammad said? All you need to do, my brothers and sisters, is to believe with conviction in what the Prophet said and repeat those words every day when you get up off your bed, inshallah ta'ala, seven times, Hasbi Allah, Allah is sufficient for me. Even if I'm in debt, even if I can't find work, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sufficient. Allah will open doors for you. La ilaha illa hu. You acknowledge His oneness. You acknowledge that there is no any other deity worthy of worship except Him. That's the main purpose of our existence is to worship Allah the one and only, subhanallah. Alayhi tawakkalt. I rely on Him. I trust in Him. He will get me out of my difficulties. Wa huwa rabbul arsh al Allah, the Lord of the magnificent throne Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the controller of this entire creation how could he control everything around us my brothers and sisters and can take care of your affair think about it hasbi allahu la ilaha illa hu alayhi tawakkalt Memorize it, my brothers and sisters. Recite it every day, seven times in the morning and seven times in the evening with conviction, full faith, and see the changes that will happen in your life. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.